Hey there, James McAllister here, a guy looking to help you get more money out of your business and find more fulfillment in your life. Today I want to talk about a huge mistake I keep seeing salespeople and entrepreneurs make over and over and over again, and that is lowering the price of your products when you aren't receiving the level of sales that you're expecting. Before we go any further, I want you to think about why people buy products, okay? People buy products to solve some sort of problem. The more important solving that problem is to the customer, the more likely they are to quickly purchase a product that will offer a solution. This is why the health, wealth, and dating markets are so profitable. People are desperate to solve these problems and want immediate solutions when possible. Now I want you to take a moment and think about price and what price means. It's the amount you pay for a given product, right? Everybody knows that. But hey, think about this for a moment. Why do people pay hundreds of thousands of dollars for a house and only a dollar for a can of soda? Or an even better example, a beater car versus a Porsche or a Lamborghini. What constitutes the higher price? I'm only looking for a one word answer here, can you guess it? The word is value. Sales are made when the price is equal to or less than the customer's perceived value of the product. I'm going to say that again. Sales are made when the price is equal to or less than the customer's perceived value of the product. This is so important and I want you to never forget that because knowing this fact is going to determine what the best price for your product truly is. So hey, think about this. Your most effective price point will depend on two things. One, the actual value of your product and two, the perceived value of your product. You should know the actual value of your product. You should know what it's worth. Forget what other people are doing for a moment and think about what your product is truly worth to the right person. The other part of this is a bit more challenging. You need to increase the perceived value of your product in a potential customer's eyes to the point where it's higher than what you're asking for. This is where sales skills come in. You need to sell the product. You need to make the potential customer aware your product is worth beyond what you're asking for. If you are able to sell the value of the product and it's priced according to what it's actually worth, you will make sales at any price point, I guarantee you. Again, price is so much less important than value. If it weren't, then you wouldn't pay hundreds of thousands of dollars for houses, or tens of thousands of dollars a year for college classes, or cars, or anything for that matter. Now look, I'm not saying to not ever lower your prices. There are times for it. But lowering your prices just because you can't sell the product for what you know it's truly worth is just insulting yourself, man. All that's saying is you can't sell your own product, you can't show people its value. Instead of lowering the price, learn to sell more effectively. I promise you, it will be a much better use of your time, and you'll end up making far more money in the long run. Anyway, I hope this video has sparked some thought in you, and you'll think twice before lowering your prices again in the future. My name is James McAllister, and you can find me over at helpstartmyside.com, where I will teach you how to sell more effectively without lowering your prices. Make the day great. And I'll talk to you again soon.